So I need to make a fairing block for this strainer. <clears throat> this, is this is for a uh, sea chest that we're installing on our vessel. To, uh, it'll go to our circulation pump. And so, uh, I suppose most of the time you just put these straight up into the hull like this. But in this case, we've got some clearance issues that we need to accommodate the valve for. So I actually need to, to bring this in at more of a uh, just straight up and down, just plumb instead of at an angle uh, parallel with the hull. So I need to make a fairing block and it's going to be approximately that angle, something about like that. And so I'm going to just make a mold out of a piece of uh, press board and cut a hole in it. I dropped a strainer in there and then I can trace around it, cut out a ring. I'll mount this to another board, take some filler, fill at the inside edge, and then I've got a mold. I can cast up my fairing block and it'll accommodate the strainer. It'll be just slightly larger for it. And then that piece of fiberglass, we can plane down, get the correct angle for the bottom of our hull. And then when we get on the grid, we can glue that to the bottom of the boat and put the strainer up through there. So part of the issue is on the inside where the valve is, there's a stringer right there. So if it's slanted like this, the valve will interfere with the stringer. I won't be able to get it in the corner where it needs to be up tight. And then also, where it ties into the other plumbing, I'll have to put some additional elbows or whatever to get the correct angle. And so if I can just bring it up, it'll make all that installation a lot easier. So that's what we got going on right now. And Matt's doing the, the other side, the fairing block that's on the inside of the hull. He's already got a mold made for that and he's just putting the second lift of fiberglass on it now, second layer. I'm building it up to get the proper thickness that we need. It's probably going to be, oh, I want to say maybe three quarters of an inch on one side and inch and a quarter on the other, give or take a little bit, something like that. So, so I'll get set up here. We'll punch a hole in this and then we'll get it marked and, and cut out on a scroll saw. Just cleaning up some of these edges here. I'll take a piece of sandpaper and <clears throat> knock off all the sharp tips and stuff over here. So, just kind of eyeball center. <clears throat> a two inch hole saw here. It's about the size of the outside diameter of the threads on the pipe right there. So it's kind of misty yacht today, which is nice. We had a lot of pollen falling off our trees, so it's kind of washing that stuff away and sticking it to the ground. There's a lot of pollen in the area, so it's kind of nice. <clears throat> you can get a break from it. So this hole isn't critical or anything, so I'm just cutting it out so I can slip this through hole on this board and make it easier to trace out the outline. So this is just a straight thread on these strainers as opposed to a regular plumbing fitting that's actually a slight taper to it. And that allows you to put a backing nut on it and tighten it down. In this case, the valve that we have for it actually also has a corresponding straight thread to it <clears throat> and the strainer just threads directly into it so a lot of people just put a strainer on the bottom of their boat or through a hole and then use a regular valve and it's okay but 
the mechanical connection isn't really as good as it should be. You usually only get two or three threads, which if that valve ever gets hit or anything, it can fracture or fatigue the end of those threads and cause a failure later. So really these are the proper valves to use that, that have a straight thread and will accept this as far as you can twist it in. So our hole isn't this thick, so we'll actually have to trim this down before the final install and it's a far superior mechanical connection to the other way so super heavy duty valve okay so I'm just gonna make an outline of this I'll probably add about oh maybe three-eighths of an inch or something and then that way when I'm finished it'll be just a pad that it's sitting on just slightly larger than the uh, than the strainer and I'm not sure of the thickness, I'm probably going to have to build it up to maybe around an inch thick or something. And then when it's done planing, I'm not sure what the thickness is. I'll end up with probably an eighth on one side and an inch or so on the other. So I'm just going to build it up thick so I got plenty of material to remove if I need to. So we'll get this traced out and then we'll cut it with the scroll saw. Okay, I just taped a marker to the pen here to get the space that I want. Transfer the outline of the strainer onto the wood. Cut this outline out and we'll mount it to another piece of wood. Mix up some Bondo, put a fillet on the inside corner. And, uh, <clears throat> and then once that sets up, we'll sand it down smooth and put some PVA on it and we'll be ready to lay some fiberglass up on it. Okay, we'll just cut this out with the scroll saw. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll find a piece of wood to mount this on. Good outline. That'll work. Okay, I'm just gonna <coughs> staple this on here with a couple of brads. Okay, I have this ring attached to my board that'll make the bottom of my mold here. So I'm just gonna take the, uh, the piece that I trimmed out, throw it back in there. I trace around this with a marker. I can get the center that looks pretty close so put a mark there Give me my approximate center. And then I'm just gonna go get a little pan head screw and run it in there. And, uh, and I'll cut it off on the back side and just leave that lump right there. That way after my mold is built up, I'll have a little depression right there where I can center up my whole saw bit and, and cut this hole again. It'll just make it nice and easy. <coughs> To, to find that center and not end up being way off or anything. 
Okay, let's mix up some Bondo and we'll just put a fillet on the inside of this mold right here. Put some hardener on it. Mix it up to a nice consistency. And I'll just <clears throat> coat the inside of this wood too. It'll just help it seal it and release better. It's actually creating a little bit of draft too. Let's clean up some excess here. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> a couple rust spots here. Come back to this in a half hour or so after the stuff kicks and and just give it a quick sand and uh, then we can hit it with some PVA a little later this afternoon a couple coats of that and we'll be ready to, to glass this mold up okay just a quick sand smooth this stuff out a little bit Uh, let's see, that part is going to get cut out anyways, so finish isn't that critical. I'll just get these corners cleaned up a little bit. I'm not super concerned about a few little divots here or anything else. So let's get some PVA on this, a couple of coats of that, and then we'll lay it up with some fiberglass. PVA, pretty purple color, stuff goes a long ways, <clears throat> so I'm not going to put much in my cup. Couple coats of this, should seal the grain on that wood, good enough to release it. Wait a half hour or so and this should be dry. <clears throat> then we'll put on another coat. I'm gonna drill and tap this fiberglass plate right here. This is for our sea chest that we're installing. And then I'll just use a, a 3 8 spit to open this brass flange up and then spot the fiberglass below. And then I can get the correct uh, drill bit I think I have enough clearance on here, I hope, that I can get in there. Did you get it? Yeah. Have a look. Oh, nice. Look at <laughs> that. Fucking beefy. Holy <laughs> hell. I thought really the same cool? thing when I saw this one, too. It's like, damn. Okay, well. It's beefy. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just tap these holes. Okay, where's our tap? Uh, it's right there. Power tap. PT. Go big or go home. how power tappy I want to get so let's just uh, maybe hand power tap yeah 
Okay, that's fun. Should be pretty close, huh? Uh, so we'll just do the other three and uh, then we gotta figure out our center on this and this part will be ready. Wash it off, get the PVA off of it, roughen it up, get it cut, get it fit, and glue it in. Okay, let's do it again. Should probably just power tap it, should be fine. Here, you hold the piece. Don't let it move. Fun times like this here. Is a this is a good idea. I've done it before. I'm a professional. Let's hold it. Fiberglass, right? Beautiful. I'm going to drill this out, so I have it marked in the center. That's where the uh, that's where the pipe from the strainer will come up through the hole and go into the valve. Yeah, all right. There we go. Did you find your bit? I did. It's probably straight enough, huh? I think so. I, I trust your pad is fairly level, so. Yeah, but I put a little thing right there. Washer. Uh huh. To level it up. So I think it's probably fine, though. Yeah. Okay, guys, so. That's about it for prepping these parts. We'll get it scribed out, get it cut, fit in there, cleaned up and ready to go. And uh, we'll check in with you a little later.